Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating an algebraic expression based on another one. So we're given an expression that is equal to 1, and then we're supposed to evaluate the bottom expression, which is a squared over a squared plus bc, plus b squared over b squared plus ca, plus c squared over c squared plus ab. I know this expression or these expressions kind of look confusing, but don't worry, we're going to go through this. I could probably make a common denominator and substitute to evaluate the second expression, but that looks super duper painful. I'm not even sure if it's, if it's doable, I haven't tried it, but that's too much pain and I'm not going to put you through and myself through, I'm not going to put you and myself through that pain. Let's just use something smarter. How can I handle this expression? First of all, notice that both of these expressions, both of these expressions have the same denominator. So that's something they have in common. And also notice that in the second expression or in the numerator of the, of the second expression or the numerators, you are missing some terms such as the negative BC, negative CA, so on and so forth. So how can I get rid of those terms that are in the numerator of the top expression and get the bottom one? Right? That's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and consider the following. Consider the top expression. Notice that they have the same denominators, right? That's what I said. So let's go ahead and form fractions by using the denominators as numerators and denominators. So like this. What am I talking about? That's confusing. a squared plus bc divided by a squared plus bc plus b squared plus ca over b squared plus ca plus c squared plus ab over c squared plus ab. Okay, same thing I'm basically writing over and over. Now, before we set this equal to something, why did I do it first? What, what is the motivation, right? If you look at the top expression, I just changed the sign. So these two expressions are kind of like conjugates, sort of. The sign in the middle uh, is different. One is plus, the other one is a minus. So that's going to help me. But also take a closer look at this expression. I have something divided by itself. As long as that expression does not equal zero, and of course that's a requirement because a squared plus bc obviously cannot equal zero, right? None of these denominators can equal zero, so that's a given. Well, I should have given that maybe. I don't know. But anyways, so we're dividing something by itself. That's one. And so it's like 1 plus 1 plus 1, what is that equal to? I think everybody knows that. It's equal to 3. Yes, that's right. So this expression is equal to 3. But how is that helpful? Well, here's the thing. I'm going to take that expression that is equal to 3. And uh, I'll take the given expression, which is this. So let me go ahead and write it in a different color, maybe. I don't know. Uh, how about something like this? a squared minus bc. So this was the expression that was given with the minus signs. c squared minus ab over c squared plus ab. Okay. And that is given to be 1. It's given, right? It's given in the problem. So we're going to use it, obviously. So this is 1 and that's 3. And guess what? This is a system. This is a system of two equations, two expressions that are quite complicated, but don't worry. It's going to simplify a great deal. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to add these two equations. And guess what? Since they have the same denominators, we can just add the numerators. And the numerators are related. So for example, for the first one, you're going to get a squared plus bc plus a squared minus bc. And then just write the denominator. And then b squared plus ca plus b squared minus ca divided by the common denominator. Plus, I'm looking at the third one, this and this one. And if you add those, you're going to get c squared plus ab, right? c squared plus ab plus c squared minus ab and divided by a common denominator, c squared plus ab. What is that equal to? 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So this is equal to 4. Awesome. But how is this helpful? Well, the bc, remember I said these are kind of like conjugates, bc and negative bc. CA and negative CA, AB and negative AB, they all cancel out, leaving us with something super duper nice. 2A squared divided by A squared plus BC plus B, 2B squared, 2B or not 2B, divided by B squared plus CA 
plus 2c squared plus, what? no plus, plus 0. 2c squared divided by, uh-oh. Okay, gotta erase this still. 2c squared divided by c squared plus ab. And we know that it's equal to 4 from here, right? Now, what are we looking for? We're looking for this expression. Yay! And we actually found it, sort of, because it's, what we found is actually 2 times that. If you take out a 2 or divide both sides by 2, you get a squared over a squared plus bc, plus b squared over b squared plus ca, plus c squared over c squared plus ab, and that is equal to 2, and that's what I was looking for. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care, and bye-bye.